Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for being here. I appreciate you being around to check out this new video. I worked on this past week, which was a lot of fun. And I worked on two independent swipes, which were in my plans going to be a mirror of one another. And now beginning with a base coat of Ivory Black from Artist Loft, one of my go-tos for my bases. I really prefer the nice shine the black gives off with this particular color of black. I think that it does um, the rest of the paintings much more justice than uh, using a matte black, for example. So here we are with um, my first bit of color, which is my light blue violet by Liquitex. And it's a really pretty color. I really enjoyed how um, when I first found this color, I was very excited by how well it mixed and how nice it looks. So that's my light violet leading into some cerulean blue. This is maybe my, um, not my favorite dark blue, but one of the, a great contrasting color that really complements the violet as well. And lastly, I'm leaving some deep magenta as my third and darkest color with maybe the most possibility for great lacing effects. And now I have been really working on my swipe technique with my smaller palette knife in that we don't want to put the knife into the paint too, too deep. You just want to get a gentle glide across the top, making sure to spread your paint as evenly as possible. And in my first try here, I was a little bit disappointed. I couldn't get more color in the initial um, swipe. However, this go here went quite well and you kind of learn from your first mistakes, right? So. This swipe went really well and I got a bit deeper into the color spreading across the black and getting some good lacing along with some good contrast in my three colors. Okay, like I mentioned, this pour was not meant to be too, too hard. It was a simple three color swipe with a bit of a tilt. and I wanted to just uh, spill off the bottom portion of my color, making sure I got that big glob of white out of the way. So. That was done and over with right away. So this swipe was again meant to be fairly simple with three colors, but I wanted to make sure and tilt out that color as best I could down to the opposite corner is my plan. So we'll see if I can stretch this lacing out just a little bit more to get some more good detail across the black there. And sorry for the big old glare of my dining room table light above the black there. It is quite bright, but it is quite glary. So um, this paint was moving quite slow. I didn't have quite enough color on top of my base color ivory black, which I thought would move the paint quite well. But in, I guess my experience, I am pretty notorious for not making enough paint. This is the case once again, so I apologize. Anyway, this was moving near the end here a bit better, um, having kind of globbed together near the end. But I wanted to spill this off again into the opposite corner and see what kind of color I could stretch out, making sure that I incorporated the lacing effects with some good detail into that uh, far corner. Now I found looking back on some pores of mine in the past few weeks that it's always kind of cool looking back on what you did from the opposite side. Now it's tough to see what you're kind of looking up against looking down on it when you can't see the entire canvas but looking at it from this angle seeing what i couldn't see in front of me i feel is a different perspective on what you're pouring so the lacing here i think is really pretty and i needed to now that now that my color has been stretched down to the corner like i wanted i want my white lacing to stick around not, not get too stretched out but also make some nice designs across the diagonal part of this pour Okay, and having finished this tilt a bit more slowly than I wanted to in the first place, it did turn out fairly well. I was happy with how the colors blended together, as well as the lacing at the top. Um, I thought it was quite pretty. So going right into my next paint, I'm trying to mirror, or I suppose replicate the first pour all together in this next uh, sequence of events here. Okay. 
Okay, on this part, I did choose to go the same color combination as I had in the first. However, going top down versus bottom up to make sure I had a duplicate but opposite of my first pour. So again, I was quite short on my paint initially for the first go. So I wanted to really lay it on thick for my colors, um, again, going downwards. So uh, my first is the light violet from Liquitex and here is my cerulean blue and also lastly my deep magenta which I really hope will be just as fantastic as the first pour. Okay now as I finish up on my layering I have a quick question of those of you who pour or have painted in the past do you ever paint on a dark background? If so what colors do you use and what have you found to be successful in what you've done, whether it's pore painting or acrylic in general? Um, if you have, let me know in the comments below. I would definitely love any feedback on how you've done and what you thought of how the outcome turned out. Okay, and getting back to this next swipe, I felt like this first swipe we just um, had gone by was really great and this second one was really not great. Don't do that. Um, so I missed a good opportunity to spread some light violet blue out and ultimately had to dump quite a bit of it off which I didn't really want to do. I layered it on thick on purpose initially so I needed to get rid of the glob of purple that was in the corner of the painting to make it look like I wanted to or at least come close. And anyhow, I learned to listen that uh, just take your time, go slow, no big rush. And uh, from here, it did begin to tilt well because again, there was way more paint this time and I got a good combination and contrasting of colors. Okay, if you have made it this far with me in this video, thanks for being here again. I appreciate it. And I would appreciate if you left me a comment below on how you think I've done between these two paintings in comparison to what I had hoped for and what I got. How close did I make it to mirroring both um, as opposites in, again, the same 20 minutes or half hour of painting each other? Again, this is made to be a mirror and the end version is coming soon. So again, drop me a comment below on how you think I did. And now for me, I think painting number two, this one we're seeing here, is the better of the pores for swiping through the color. I like the lacing effect on the first pore better myself, but in terms of color combination, I think this one takes the cake in my opinion for that blend. But uh, this was a fun pore. It was challenging in that you want to try to make the exact same painting a second time, which I thought was uh, difficult in itself, but I think that the end result here turned out pretty cool and I was pretty pleased with it. Okay, as I finish up this tilt here, if you have enjoyed this video, thanks again for being around, I appreciate it. And drop me a like below and any comments with any feedback you may have for me. I do appreciate all of them. And to my comment earlier about the color blend on painting number two, I really do think this was the better of the two, but um, both are have their unique neatnesses in them, if that's the word. And um, no, they're, they turned out great. So leading into a bit of an overhead view of both paintings, we'll begin in the center where the lacing is, I think, really cool. Um, very bright, leading into a bit of a uh, purple mess, to be honest, but that's okay. We will take it. The cell and lacing looks really good. I felt pretty good about how these turned out. And again, you want to make, um, you know, do as best you can with what you have. So in trying to make the exact same pour two times, I did it pretty well. And ultimately the pair came together as best as I felt they could. And this was a very good challenge for me to give a shot with. Again, like two nine by 12 paintings to try and mirror and just copy each other as best I could. I think I did it pretty well. And really, they look pretty cool. So hopefully one will little hang on someone's wall uh, for them to enjoy. So in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, click the sex playlist here and we'll see you again in the next one.